doing your little bit. Uh, that's important. That's the topic today. I want to tell a little story about the 1954 Baseball World Series. It's the New York Giants against the Cleveland Indians. In that year, the Cleveland Indians were awesome. They had four future Hall of Fame pitchers, and they were expected to take it all. Well, there's a game at the Polo Grounds, the old Giants Stadium. And the Giants are out in the field. And here comes a turning point for the whole series. Giants are out in the field. One of the Cleveland Indians' killer hitters is up to bat. The manager of the Giants brings in a relief pitcher just to pitch to this one hitter. Get him out and let's get out of the inning. And he's got a man on second base that he wants to score. And so the pitcher, the relief pitcher, on his first pitch, the, the Cleveland Indian just kills the ball and is going out to center field and polo grounds is 480 feet dead center. It's never going to get out of the park, but it's going to be for extra bases. The Indians are going to score. And um, Willie Mays, the great Millie, uh, Willie Mays, he gets a jump on the ball and he just starts running straight out to get this ball. He makes a spectacular diving catch. He gets back to his feet, he throws back to second, doubles the guy up on second, and that was the turning point of the game. The manager comes out to the mound to take the ball from the relief pitcher because he's got one more, he's got to face another pitcher, and the relief pitcher is out of there now. He was just there for that one hitter. And the relief pitcher says to the manager, well, I did my job. <laughs> Get it? Anyway. We're all supposed to do our job. We're all supposed to do our little bit. Let me tell you a story about uh, a man that many of our parishioners know, Richard Jones. His nickname was Moses. He pedaled around the city on his bicycle. He had a long white beard, long white hair, um, and um, he was always at the soup kitchen that we help run. And here's a man that in his youth, he was up and coming. Into his middle ages, he was the man dressed for success. He was going places financially. Something happened, some type of mental illness, who knows. But um, things fell apart for him. Of course, he fell into poverty. He was living in um, the city apartments. Well, that's not important. Here's what Richard Jones was really about. He was loved at the hospitality center. And at the soup kitchen, everybody knew him. Everybody loved him. He was always helping other people. He'd be the last one to leave because he would be bagging up all sorts of leftovers, tying them to his handlebars. And then that same evening, he would be riding around to the places, maybe the homeless and other people in his apartment. They could not physically get to the soup kitchen. He was taking food to them. And he would do many other acts of kindness every day, riding around on his bicycle. Richard Jones did his bit. And folks, let us all out get out there and do our bit. If everybody does their little bit, if everybody does their Christian loving out there in the world, this will be a better world. So let's get out there. Take care.